Let's work together. Let's heal together. If you're ready to do that work, if you're ready to do the work of healing and ending sexual violence, I can only leave you with these two words. Me too. Yeah, I thought that the um, speaker was amazing. I was super excited to come. Um, something, I'm the president for the Organization of Women Leaders on campus, and something that myself um, personally and for our organization, I know we really care about sexual assaults and sexual violence, especially when it comes to college campuses and the epidemic that it can be there. Um, and so that's a conversation that we have a lot. One of the main ideas I should say behind me too is that this is about connection between survivors. And so while my story holds a particular kind of pain and trauma for me, the connection I have with another survivor is through that trauma, not through the details of my story. Finding those ways to continue to do this in ways that will be strategic and effective in making this change actually happen um, was really helpful. And so Me Too really came from, one, my inability to say Me Too to a child at a moment when I really needed to. This, the misconceptions about the Me Too movement will be its undoing. And so if nothing else, when you leave here tonight, my goal is that you leave here thinking about and talking about this work differently. A survivor connecting with another survivor rather than like dismantling power and all that stuff is more on a human level rather than just trying to tear down power structures and throw other white males or famous people in jail or anything like that which, I mean, I could really vibe to. I think that's really cool. But really in a very specific way, there were very few times in our lives, if ever you heard somebody say to you, it's not your fault, you, you are not the sum of the things that happened to you, you don't have to live in your trauma, and healing is possible.